Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Mad About Toys podcast. I'm Matt Peller, and today we're taking a look at From DC Rebirth. Obviously, McFarlane, we're taking a look at Lobo, Alien Biker. I cannot wait to check this figure out. Holy cow, it looks awesome. Let's do it. All right, time for the good, the bad, and the ugly of this Alien Biker Lobo. Let's start off with the ugly as always, and what do we got here? Nothing! We got nothing for ugly, we got nothing for bad. This figure is so awesome. Everything from head to toe, absolutely awesome. No ugly ball hinges that you can see, they're there, but they're covered. This figure is awesome. Articulation for such a big figure, standing almost 8 inches tall. This figure has everything going for it. You can almost guarantee this will be on top 10 lists this year. No doubt about it. It'll be on mine. Will it be? Where will it be? I don't know. We'll see. But we're, let's check this out here. Arms go all the way up. No problem there. Arms pop off. I don't know what's with the figures by McFarlane lately with his arms popping off, but they pop on really easy. Double jointed elbows for such a big guy. Flex it up, no problem. But this guy is such a joy to mess around with. They put a lot of effort into this from the holes. In the shirt, the belt buckle, the vest, gloves, the back, holy, check the back out. Such a great looking figure, so much detail. When do you ever get this at a, on the back of a figure? Like, I could honestly pose this on my shelf backwards. Kind of want to, that looks just too dope. Jeans, flexibility in the legs, can do the splits for such a big guy. Almost. Almost. Not like you need your Lobo to do any crazy posing, but he can get there. Double jointed knees. Can't kick his own butt or back, but he's got lots of motion there. No problem. Hook kick. Look at that face sculpt. Totally awesome. Kind of would have liked spiky hair, but I guess they're going with a particular comic book here. And yeah, it's just an absolutely fantastic figure. All the articulation is there. The sculpt is there. The accessory actually looks good. They're always big, but because of uh, this one needing to be big, it's pretty awesome. Looks great. I'm going to have a lot of fun taking some pictures here with this guy. Let's just come back. Check him out with some other figures. And this one will be a quick one. As we didn't have to go through ugly and bad. This guy's totally awesome. Let's just check him out with some other figures here. And we'll wrap it up. With the Robert Pattinson Batman by McFarlane Toys. Fortnite's Agent Peely, looking alright. Red Hood looking a little tiny next to Lobo. With NECA Groundchuck from the Ninja Turtles cartoon line. Who's seen the reveals that NECA put out this weekend for the Turtles line? Wow, absolutely incredible. They're going to make me broke in uh, 2022. And a bunch of those figures will probably end up on my top 10 list at the end of the year. So definitely hit that subscribe button and notification bell, and you won't miss it. Next to Marvel Legends Build-A-Figure Venom Pool. Wow, do these look great together. Next to another McFarlane Toys, Peacemaker. Who's watching the HBO show Peacemaker? It's absolutely incredible. If you haven't seen it, make sure you check that out. And finally, next to a Marvel Legends, my custom mask figure on a Marvel Legends body. I had no idea when I got Lobo that there was a comic with Lobo versus the mask. So I had a lot of fun taking pictures of these two guys against each other. Thanks for watching. 
hit that subscribe button, like, comment, share, and hit that notification bell. Thanks for watching. I'll talk to you guys later. Have a great day, everybody. All done the video.